Hi there, my friend. My name is Chad Reyes, and I'm one of the co-founders over at Lions Pride Leadership. And today, I want to talk to you about realistic expectations. You know, realistic expectations are so important. Now, it's going to be a little bit different than what you're probably thinking, because I think that when people say realistic expectations, what they're really saying is a lid on what's possible. Heard what I said? A lid. On what's possible, because I believe that we have so much more than we give. We have so much more inside than what we give. And if you look at studies, studies will show you that our mind gives up before our body. But picture if you. Manage your expectation of saying I'm going to give everything. The body follows suit. And my friend, as as you manage realistic expectations, expect more. Now I'm not saying to expect something that's not possible. What I'm saying is to manage your expectation. And make it realistic, and realistic means is that I think most people operate only with using thirty to fifty percent of what they have inside of them. Now, I want to encourage you that whatever you're doing in your life, you have more. You could be more. You could do more. You could impact more. But you have to take the lid off of what's possible in your life. You see, often. Expectations that we set for ourselves define our life. I, and I know from my personal life, when I was younger, I had expectations. I had, as Maxwell, as John Maxwell says, he says, "High, you know, uphill dreams with downhill habits." That causes frustration. But if you have expectations, and and part of an expectation is based on a belief system. And my belief system is very, very simple, and it's very clear. I've been built in God's image, and I know that He doesn't design anything broken, and I know He designs people for greatness. The question becomes: In what area do I put my time and energy in, so that I can see fruit? Expectations are key, because. We want to make sure we meet our expectations, but so many people are not operating in the area of their strength, so they've lowered their expectation. My friend, two things: find the thing that you're gifted at. We 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 use our leadership assessment. Go on our website, find it out. It's a phenomenal tool, but we use our our leadership assessment that helps you understand your strength, your giftedness, and then second. As soon as you understand that, and now you start walking in that and operating in that, what's possible in your life gets lifted. So the expectations we have in our life is based off of what we believe is possible. And I believe that you have so much inside of you. I believe that you have such a gift that the world needs. My friend, raise your expectations and watch what happens. I did it in my own life. You see, a lot of the things I'm sharing with you is not because I read a book. Everything I'm sharing with you is because my life is that book. One day, I'll share with you more of how I got from where I am today to where I was. But my expectations today are much better than many years ago. Have re have real expectations. Not limiting expectations. Be well. Until next time. God bless you.